Hi, this is Dai Mogwai, and this is a video response to Ray Biddle's question uh, from the Inimogo forums about importing images with transparent backgrounds into Adobe After Effects. First thing I'm going to talk about is uh, background removal. Let's say I just want this element. Uh, Magic Wand is going to take a while. It still might not look decent. See, so like right here, some of the color spills onto the actual object, and the magic wand just isn't going to cut it. Another thing that you can you can use is select color range, and then select an actual color range in the photo, and then you can clip the fuzziness. Once again, though, this is kind of like the magic wand tool, but if you had like a single color background, that would be another decent, easy way to to just remove the single color. Um, but this also isn't going to work. What I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to lighten up my image so that I can see all the edges. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to use uh, brightness and contrast. I'm going to bump brightness up. That way I can really see the edges. The next thing I'm going to use is, under the lasso tool, I'm going to go to the magnetic lasso. My current settings for the magnetic lasso tool are width of 10 pixels, edge contrast at 10%, and frequency of 57. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, I'm going to pick an edge, and I'm going to kind of follow the contour of my object. Now, obviously you see it kind of went off track a little bit. Well, what I can do is I can just go back and just kind of clip along the edge. For every area that I click on, it'll create a new point. What, it, what it's trying to do is find the difference between the, the point I want and, and the point I don't want. For the most part, it usually does a pretty good job at selecting the pixels. Sometimes you might need to help it along a little bit by giving it a click. So this is the, uh, the first part. If it goes off track, don't worry too much. As you can see, there's, there's a lot of spill in here, so it's rather difficult for it to, to grab everything. You also might want to try some different options in the uh, Magnetic Lasso Tool option. Right here is doing a pretty decent job because it can find the edge contrast. Once again, it doesn't have to be too perfect because we're going to fix it up later. I'm going to go ahead and close this part of the mask. Now you can see it's made a selection around my object, but we're still not done. There's some chunk in the middle that we need to get rid of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Alt, and Alt, al Alt along with my Magnetic Lasso tool, you'll see a minus appear. So what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to subtract the inner part of this mask without having to make an, an extra selection. And I'm also going to do that right here. The next part of the process is going to take the longest amount of time, but just like anything, the more amount of time that you actually put into it, the better it'll turn out in, in the end. I'm just going to finish this up by killing this part, closing that mat up. Okay, the next step of our process is to go into quick mask mode. If you've never used Quip Mask, this is uh, it's going to be an experience. You can see it added red to the area that wasn't inside the selection. Everything that's in red will be masked out. Now what we can do is we can go through and we can tighten up this mask so that we can get our object out that we need. We're going to go ahead and use Z. Zoom in a little bit. E for the eraser tool. You might want to adjust your brushes. Uh, you might want to use start out with kind of a hard edge brush just to begin with. You can use the square bracket keys to adjust your brush size on the fly so that way you don't have to go up there all the time. And then also you can you can use the brush to brush in the areas that you if you take too much off. So I'm just going to go through and just fix my edges. Obviously you can see in here there was a lot of spill so it grabbed grabbed that whole area. So I'm just going to go through it here and fix up 
all the areas of my mask. I just switch between the eraser tool and the brush tool. Remember to use black and white when you're when you're masking. And the black will show up as red. Also, you can change that color in your preferences. So you can use your lasso tools in this mode, and and that makes for easier masking as well. Because that way, I can just select and make a selection, and then just paint over it wildly, and not have to worry about masking out everything. M for marquee, right click, deselect, Z, zoom out. Now that I'm done, I can exit quick mask mode by clicking this, and you can see my selections created. If I use Control J. Command J if you're on the Mac. Now I can remove my background and you can see that I have just that object. I'm going to go ahead and delete the adjustment mask. And I will delete the background and I'll save this by itself. You want to save it as a PSD, a Photoshop document, with alpha channels and layers selected. We're going to switch over to After Effects, right click, Go to Import, Import File, select the PSD that you just saved. R2, this composition, OK. I can open my R2 comp. You can see that it's alone, with no background. If I go to New, Add New Solid, make a white solid, drag that in back, you can see that my image it's completely masked out on its own layer. That's pretty much how you do it. Hope uh, this helped you. And uh, can't wait to see your project. Take care.